Hi, this is Danny J. Lewis, also known as Enzyme Black, and I'm a course developer and tutor here at Point Blank Online. So this week's video is all about machine, and I've programmed a beat, and then I'm gonna be working on a bass line, and I'm gonna bring the bass line alive by using an effect called the saturator. A lot of you guys might have thought about adding modulation to a sound through a filter, but this is kind of the inverse. Instead of taking something away, we're adding something to the sound, and we're doing so in different amounts to create movement and a real sonic texture that sounds really interesting. So we're gonna do that. And also I'm just gonna show you, we're gonna get a little chord stab, get it looping up and running as well so we can add some musical elements too. So I've got myself a beat up and running. This is an 808 kit and this is the rhythm that I've got so far. It's deliberately simple. You'll notice how the kick is quite clicky, it's quite short. And that's because I'm gonna use kick the more traditional longer 808 kick and I'm going to use that as a bass sound that's going to sit around the other kick, the shorter one. So to do that we go to pad mode, go out to keyboard, this is chromatically spanned over the pads now. At certain points it may overlap and I don't want that. So what I want to do is I want to actually take this, go to sound and I'm going to take polyphony down. So we're going to go to one. This is a monophonic note now, so we're not going to get any overlaps. Nice and clean. That's exactly what we want if we're going to use this as a bass element. So I'm going to have a play around. Let's get this rhythm back up. Try this one. So I think I'm going to get something along those kind of lines, but at the moment, my pattern, you know, the drums, it's basically running for one bar. I need to extend that a bit so I get some variety on the go. So if I click on the pattern button, what I can do is I can come over here to double and it's going to increase. So we are up to two bars now. Let's do this again. So up to four. Let's see how that feels with the actual bass sound on there as well. I think that's going to work. So let me record that in. So that's sounding good. That's a good foundation, but I want to spice things up a bit. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add an effect onto this sound. So what we're going to do is come over here, pushing number two. So we've got here what we would class as the first insert effect after the sampler. The sampler is the actual instrument itself. So now we've got an insert effect. If I use shift plus browse, we've got a list along here. And what I'm looking for is something to add some extra sonic character to the sound. So something like the saturator could be spot on. Let's take away browse. And once again, we've got here the parameters that we could use. We could adjust these to just bring in a little bit of extra character. We're gonna expect this to sound richer now. So let's have a listen. is I want to record that in because I really like that vibe that really brings the sound alive and in a club that could be great as a contrast to when it's actually sounding quite static before and what we can do is we've got the auto write control here so when I'm playing I can actually engage the auto write and then move the amount here to actually introduce that modulation in it's going to record it into the machine sequencer so I'm going to give that a go now
So if you take a look at the actual machine interface on the computer screen, you can see all of the data here. So if I bring my cursor down, this information is the modulation that's been applied. We are adjusting the parameters of the effect in real time. So that's really brought a great flavor to the track idea. Let's take a look in more detail at what the saturator is doing. We're in Logic now. I've got the analyzer of the channel EQ set to high detail. So have a look at what happens with the sound. I'm gonna turn the saturator off. So can you notice this is smoother? We don't have the spiky elements in the sound, the harmonics that are created by the drive control over here on the saturator. So let's put it back on. I'm gonna increase the drive amount. See, we've got more harmonics appearing now. Let's take it back where it was. It's about 25 before. Now, I'm gonna show you manually. I'm gonna trigger the machine. Let's take the drive down. Let's bring this amount down as well. And now that we manually increase this, so take a look at the analyzer display. You can see the additional harmonics coming through. So remember at the start of the video, I was talking about this being the opposite to using a filter. With a filter, we start with a rich sound and then we use the filter to take elements of that sound away. So we're reducing the frequency energy. Here we're doing the opposite. We're starting off with a relatively simple sound and then we're adding the extra energy to the sound through the saturator. We're adding harmonics to the sound. So we're back in Machine Standalone. I've got a sample. Nice little chord sample there. I'm gonna come here, pad, keyboard. I can transpose it now. But this is quite a short sample. I want the ability to extend this if I want. And so what I need to do is I need to add a loop. So we're gonna do this. First thing I need to do is to go to the voice settings and move this over. And you go to the pitch and gate section. We're gonna go from one shot to ADSR. So we've got a traditional synth envelope here for the volume. Now the other thing I need to do is to set up the loop. So we push sampling and we page over to loop mode, we enable. And now you can see the window here on the machine, we can adjust the start and end point. So if I drag this, and we're gonna get ourselves a little loop. So we're gonna bring this over. Just gonna zoom back a bit here on the display. There we go. So we're looking for a loop and let's have a listen, see how that feels. Let's smooth it out, the crossfade. The sound itself has got movement in there, so it's gonna be quite hard to avoid that. But you know how it is with these kind of sample-based sounds? It's quite nice to hear a little loop like that. And also the whole fact is when you play it lower, the cycling of the loop is different to when you play it faster. That's that whole kind of hip hop ethic where you've got the sounds shifting sort of in and out of time. It can sound really interesting, give it a good groove. So see how that feels on top of the beat. lots of potential there you know we can choose to play a short sound let go or do a longer one so tons of scope there that's a whole looping aspect accessed via sampling and of course we've already looked at the whole concept of the bass sound and we added a saturator and that's added a really interesting texture to the sound don't forget, if you want to see more videos like these, subscribe to the Point Blank YouTube channel. That's youtube.com slash pointblankonline. And also, if you want to check out our courses, it's www.pointblankonline.net.